Chesney High School, these are your student announcements for Thursday, February 15th, 2018. I'm Shelby. And I'm Caitlin. Happy birthday to Madeline Poplick, Elizabeth Pudrith, Miranda Spitla, and over the weekend to Alexis Brown, Brooke Pease, Zachary Stevenson, Mercedes Hydrick, Ben Kensley, Chris Meiser, and Raylan. Happy birthday, Raylan. Thank you. <laughs> Seniors, there are some new scholarships to check out. They include MI Retailers Association, available to students whose parents are employed at a business that is members of the MIA. Parents should ask their employers or can call the number listed to find out. Deadline is April 2nd. Great Lakes Bay Manufacturers Association can only be used at Delta College. Students must have a parent who is employed at a GLBMA member workplace to qualify. Deadline is February 28th. MI High School Softball Coaches Association Scholarship open to seniors softball players at April 15th. Shiawassee Community Foundation. Applications are available in Ms. Folk's office. There are over 20 scholarships available through the foundation. The qualifications vary from just headed on to some type of schooling after graduation to vocational, law enforcement, business, etc. Please stop by her office to get the information. Deadline is March 8th. Ohio Michigan Association of Career College and Schools, Dorsey Schools in Michigan participates along with many other trade technology schools in Ohio. See Ms. Falk for details. Deadline is April 6. The Home Builders Association of Saginaw is offering numerous scholarships for students who are going into the trades. Seniors do not have to be full-time college students next fall and there is no GPA requirement. See Ms. Volk for details. Deadline is April 20th. The Chesning Education Association will be offering a $500 scholarship for graduates who will be entering the field of education. A one-page essay must be completed to be considered for the award. See Ms. Volk for the details of the essay. So what is the Chesning Education Association? Uh, the CEA is the, uh, the teachers union here at uh, Chesning Union Schools. It's for all three schools throughout the district. And uh, what is the perks of getting the scholarship? Like, what's involved with getting it? Um, well, first of all, it's a $500 scholarship. It's for uh, anyone who is uh, interested in um, coming into education uh, throughout their, their schooling career. And it's uh, the only requirement really is to write an essay, and we, uh, we choose the top one. I just, I'd like to see more people uh, try to get into it. I think it's a good idea. In the last couple of years, we haven't had a, a tremendous amount of people apply for it, but it's there. Saginaw County Farm Bureau Scholarship for those going into agriculture, forestry, or other environmental items, see Ms. Volk for an application. The Saginaw Community Foundation application is due February 15th. You need to sign up in Ms. Volk's office to get a transcript emailed to you. One application puts you in the running for over 100 scholarships. Applications for the Kristen Greenfelder Scholarship are in Ms. Volk's office. This is a $1,000 scholarship that is guaranteed towards those students who have been involved in the CHSR program, band, choir, or capo. There's a sign-up sheet in the athletic office for any girls to stop in and put their names on if they plan to play soccer in the spring. Attention all athletes, spring will be here before you know it. If you are planning to play a spring sport but not have not played a fall or winter sport, please remember you must have a sports physical, emergency form, and athletic handbook form on file in the athletic office in order to obtain a tryout card. You will not be allowed to begin on the first day if you do not give your coach a tryout card. If you have any questions, please see Ms. James in the athletic office. Be a lifesaver, donate blood for the spring blood drive on Tuesday, March 20th and Wednesday, March 21st during school hours in the high school media center. Donors must be at least 16 years old, weigh at least 110 pounds, and have a valid picture ID. Sign up sheets are located in Ms. Falk's office. Take a little of your time and give someone the gift of life. FFA week dress up days are on February 20th through the 23rd. February 20th is flannel and pajama day. The 21st is camo day. Any car or accessories accepted for hat, except for hats. 
On the 22nd is tractor or farmer day, any farmer clothes without hats. And then the 23rd is FF color day, national blue and corn gold. So Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I gotta go find myself a date. Hey Riley. Hi Josh. There's something wrong with my phone. Your number's not in. You wanna be my Valentine? <laughs> I would love to. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Do you know what my shirt's made out of? What? Boyfriend material. You wanna be my Valentine? Sure. Hi. Hi. Um, so I'm a little lost, and I was wondering if you could give me directions to your heart and be my Valentine. Sure. You already asked me to be your Valentine. Me too. Tip number one, make a really cool Valentine's Day card. Tip number two, don't give the card to more than one female. Attention all NHS members, there will be a meeting on Tuesday, February 20th at 7.15. It is very important that you attend as we all do final decisions and rewards to the daddy-daughter dance. Any questions, please see Ms. N. Seniors, your class picture will be Tuesday, February 20th during an activity period. Please wear your senior takeover t-shirts if you bought one or orange and black. We will also vote on staff speaker and discuss other information regarding graduation. Make sure you to be at school that day. Hey Caitlin, you know what? What? Just to remind you, there's no school Friday, February 16th or on Monday, February 19th. That is so awesome. We get a really long weekend. Hey, Caitlin, what's the weather like today? It's supposed to be 40 and cloudy. Clouds? Again? At least it's no snow. Yeah, that's a good point. Bye, Chesney. Have a great day. Bye.